Hi guys, assalamu alaikum. My name is Sharon Hussain and welcome to my channel. So today's video is um, a brand new series that I'm going to be starting on my channel and it's all about testing luxury foundations and I am a big drugstore fan. I love my drugstore products and I love my drugstore foundations and I thought for this new year I'm definitely going to be trying out some high-end foundations. I think the only foundation that I've ever tried out was the MAC Studio Fix fluid or something like that and um, I've stopped using that now um, because I need to get a different shade and it's like old and disgusting so that's what I'm intending to do this year it is going to be a year to dry out high-end foundations um, so yeah leave your recommendations down below for any high-end foundations that you'd like me to try out um, I actually have a normal to dry skin and it's sometimes more on the drier side but once I put moisturiser on it, it's actually really fine. So I'm going to get started and the first foundation that I'm going to be trying for this year is this cult favourite and it is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Everyone has been obsessed with this foundation, everyone seems to love it and it's probably the one, one of the ones that I've been meaning to try out and there were so many... Um, bloggers that were talking about it and I was like oh this seems like the kind of foundation I would like I know they recently just came out with a new all luminous foundation and I really do want to try that out as well but in terms of foundations this is a cult favorite everyone loves it and I just think it'd be perfect for me it is a sheer glow foundation so it's like a dewy um, foundation so I'm just gonna read it and it says that it delivers immediate hydration, even skin tone, and leaves the skin brighter and more radiant. Used daily, your skin texture improves over time, becoming softer, smoother, and more luminous. Sheer Glow Foundation provides weightless and buildable coverage with a natural radiant finish uh, for normal to dry skin types. So that is definitely what this foundation is about. And I actually got the shade a Medium 3 um, Stromboli, I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope this is the shade for me. I feel like it's a little bit too light for me because I did order this online. I got this from ASOS. I don't know. That looks way too light for me. Um, but yeah, everyone seems to love this product. The only downside to this product is it doesn't actually come with a pump. It is just literally you pop it on your hand. Uh, but I believe they do say it sell a pump separately. So I might actually pick one up. So you have to shake well before you use. But yeah, I'm super excited to try this out. And I actually picked up another product from NARS. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium 2 Ginger. Um, I had this concealer before, but I got vanilla or something like that. And it was so light for me. And I don't know why I thought that was a shade for me. I think I was watching YouTubers that had really light complexion. And I don't know, I bought it like two or three years ago. Um, but I finally got, I think, the right shade for my under eye area i just don't know we'll have to see how it works um in terms of my base right now what i'm wearing underneath i am wearing the olay hydration spf 15 2 in 1 a uh, lightweight um lotion so that's this one here i really love this product this just really hydrates my skin and i've decided to do half of my face with a primer so this is an elf hydrating face primer i actually really love this primer i don't know if it does anything for my skin or if it's like better it just feels so nice on the skin there so I'm gonna add this onto one side of my face the pump is a little bit weird but I can deal with it so I'll just pop it onto this side so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and just see on my hand if it looks good what do you think I don't know actually I think okay I'm gonna try it on my skin and just see if it actually does anything for me I've also decided um, I'm going to be using um, a sponge and a brush I love using a brush with my foundations normally so I would try both so this is the expert face brush from real techniques I love this brush for putting foundation on so I'm just gonna do that I don't know actually is this the right shade for me So that is the lightest, like that is a bare minimum in terms of covering the skin. I haven't like added another layer and I actually really like it. Actually, I'm going to actually switch positions and move you guys this way 
just so the light is actually here so hopefully it is looking a little bit better so you can see what's going on it looks really dewy like from afar right now i can see it's really nice and healthy i think the shade is fine actually i thought it would be a bit too light but compared to my other side it looks really similar so i'm guessing it is a perfect match this is the only problem i have with this product it's the fact that i have to kind of get it on my finger and then do it like that which is super messy by the way I have to say it it is so nice to blend it in with a um, sponge I'm using the Raw Techniques complexion sponge and I use it dry I never use it wet and look at how nice and easy that was to blend out it was literally just perfection really and yeah that is like medium coverage I would say I didn't even put that much on but what I can see is that with the uh, primer underneath it it's looking a lot more dewy than this side here and I think I prefer it with the face primer on underneath it as well okay so that's it that is the foundation done I really like the way it looks it was easy to blend out with the foundation brush and the sponge I think I preferred the way the sponge applied it and kind of um, set it into uh, the skin it just looks really healthy and dewy and I think with the brush it was a little bit more like not as even or as flawless as um, this side is and I definitely think it looks better with the primer side um, yeah so that is the verdict for now Okay, so next we're going to go in with the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. I forgot to mention, um, the foundation is £33 and the concealer is £24. It is really expensive and I bought mine from ASOS when they were having a 20% off. So I will actually be doing a video on how to save money so you don't actually pay full price for makeup products. Because obviously, even with... Um, a discount it's still really expensive but I will be doing a video on that so if you definitely want to see a video on how to save money then leave it down below so like comment it so that I can definitely bring that to you guys I'm gonna continue with this one and this is in the shade ginger so let's see oh I don't know if that's too I don't know I'm gonna blend it out and then we'll talk I'm just going to use a sponge as well for this side because okay immediately I could tell it was a lot harder to blend this side out with the sponge it just didn't really set properly um, and I think one of the reasons why that could be is because on this side I actually have a primer on and it just kind of blended super nice um i think color is fine as well it i could go with a shade lighter but i think this is fine just for everyday use and i know a lot of people like using it just to kind of um like just to conceal what uh, they need to and then walk out the house okay so i'm gonna just powder my skin using the rimmel stay matte powder i don't actually have a high-end powder i have a laura mercier powder but I don't really like using that so I'm going to just stick with my trusty old stay matte. This just works for me. And I feel like, um, to be honest, uh, the side with the primer doesn't need any setting. But um, this side is looking a bit more, not as dewy. But I mean, as in it just looks like it's shifting a lot. So I'm going to just do both sides. Because usually I do, regardless of whether it's looking really dewy or not, or if that's what I'm intending, I will still powder it. Just because I feel more comfortable when I have done that than I haven't. Because I just feel like, oh my gosh, it's just moving around all over the place. When really it probably isn't, but I just it just feels like it's a safer option. I have to be honest, um, I had the other NARS um, concealer that I had, I didn't like. 
but then I thought oh it's probably because I got the wrong shade so that's why I thought I'd pick up another one and see hopefully if this one's any better and at the moment I am loving the side that has the primer on it as well so this is the side all about um the primer and you can see it's already creasing underneath the eyes whereas this one it's not as bad but this one you can like see it so clearly um in terms of the foundation i've got spots so excuse those um but yeah it seems to be really really nice so this is how it's looking on both sides okay so that's how it's looking and i will update you in a little while once i actually put some the rest of my makeup on but so far i do like the way this foundation looks and i prefer the side that has the primer on it and for the most part i do use my primer every day i use that um elf one every day i just feel like it just gives my skin hydration and moisture when i need it and i like the way it looks on this side and um, this side isn't terrible without the primer but it's compared to the two i love this side this one's looking more dewy and more healthy and more like set in place um so yeah i'll be back bye okay so i've just done the rest of my makeup and i've also done a flash photography test and i have to say it's amazing it's actually so beautiful um the photography test um on this foundation is so flawless so beautiful and it looks so nice um which i really really like it looks so good like i'm gonna show you some insets as well on how beautifully it photographed um yeah and everything else that i've put on top of it has actually been really easy there was no like any issues or anything like that nothing kind of um transferred or moved about and yeah that is how my makeup is looking so far okay so it's been about a week since i tried out the nars sheer glow and the concealer and i've been wearing it for a few days now and obviously i'm not wearing it today unfortunately but i just wanted to update you guys and tell you that i freaking love the nars sheer glow foundation it is so beautiful it's flawless when you um, take pictures it doesn't shift or move or transfer when I wear it um, I usually powder it and I uh, I think I used uh, my Rimmel Stay Matte and also my Maybelline one and both of them equally worked just as well as each other um, I will have to say though that the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is not my favourite um, I think I still need to have a few goes with it and see hopefully if i can get it to work for me but i feel like it just creases really badly underneath my eyes even when i powder it like i think maybe it's the powdering that's doing it i'm not sure i have to try it out but um overall really really love the nars sheer glow foundation it is so beautiful applies really nicely you can do it with a brush or a sponge and i freaking love it and the hype is real i definitely definitely understand why everyone kept talking about it for years and i've been watching youtube for about seven eight years and i think the first person who actually mentioned um the share glow was uh zoella so you can imagine she still uses it now and she's been using it back then as well so yeah i really really like it i have ordered the pump as well because i cannot deal with putting it on the back of my hand it is just too annoying it drives me crazy and cost me three pounds to get it and i ordered it on feel unique but with feel unique you have to order more than it has to be over 15 pounds so then you get free delivery and everywhere else that was selling uh the pump i couldn't just order it itself or otherwise i'd get like a four pound charge to get it delivered and they don't have it in stores unless i go into london where they have it in space and k and um, but yeah i really really love it now i want you to comment down below what foundation you would like to see me try next um and i will definitely be looking into it because i'm really itching to buy a new foundation now and try something else because i really like this and i know that i'm going to continue wearing it uh, i was thinking of trying out the georgia armani luminous silk or the clinique beyond perfecting foundation so let me know if you like either one of those or just suggest your own and anyway i hope you're having a great day and i will see you guys next time inshallah bye assalamualaikum